guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefine Horizons, and this is the third video in the set of videos I'm doing that shows you how to lay out a digital publication in Inkscape. I'm working on the template here for a regular page, and I'm doing these videos for my graphic design ninja in training, Alyssa. And so we finished the kind of the template for the regular page in the last video, got everything layered, but I wanted to go ahead and apply a color scheme. So we're going to do that, and I think I'm going to use this color scheme here. This is a color scheme I made with a tool from Canva that just picks a color scheme from an image. And uh, I like it. It's kind of a cool palette, not too wild. So we're going to go ahead and, and I'm going to just slide this off my screen and we're going to apply some colors. So uh, we're going to uh, apply some Midnight Blue to our title here. So to do that, I'm going to pull up my Fill and Stroke dialog box and I'm going to just enter those hex codes right here. 23744. Okay, obviously when I do that, the text is too dark, so we're going to make it white. Okay, and just so you guys know, this is the hex code, this number down here that I'm pulling up. Okay, and then uh, we want a color for our headings. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to make this what they call, uh, I'm going to go with their C green, so 265. 971 will be their C green and then over here these headings I'm actually going to make a little different so what I might do is make this we're going to just try this I'm going to make this background their slate gray so 7F93A4 and that'll let me uh, we'll probably make these headings white then and make this text white Let's see, I got some room for some steel blue in here. I might try this steel blue. Let's see how this looks. So that's 3B6B8A. Yeah, it's not going to have enough contrast, so I'm going to leave that there. Maybe I'll do the steel blue here. Let's, let's try it and see what we think. 3B6B8A. Yeah, you know, I think I like that a little better. And then our arrows, let's make our arrows, uh, we'll try these, that slate gray. So 7F, 9, 3, 8, 4. Yep, and I think I'm just going to leave the icons black. Okay, so we got a little bit of color down here. And uh, we're going to go ahead, just so you guys know, once you have a style you like, you can say edit copy and then you can grab a new object and say edit paste paste style Oop. didn't seem to work edit copy edit paste style and then we'll make this text white and I'm going to go ahead and give this a color too since we're at it we're going to use that C green 265971 oop 265971 FF. All right, now our page number's got a color. All right, so then we'll save this. And we'll do save to PDF, which is what it wants to do right now. So we'll save it as SVG and replace, and we'll save as a PDF. Okay, and let's go see how that PDF looks. There you go, nice and crisp and clean. Color scheme is not too wild. I like this. I, I like it a lot. Alright, so uh, we're about ready to turn loose our graphic design ninja on this thing, on our August issue, but uh, we're going to do another short video where we set up the cover sheet, okay, because the cover sheet's going to be a little bit different. 